onto here. Happy Memorial Day! Yay! So we have a lot of fun red, white, and blue stuff going tonight. When I say we, that's me, myself, and I. I didn't want to confuse you guys, and I'm... <laughs> you know I don't love coming on by myself, so... Katie, if you're out there, I miss you. <laughs> Anyways, my, my friend. <laughs> so I've picked out some fun colors for our patriotic eagle today and um i think we're going to do some big sections uh in foil maybe a little paint not sure yet you know i'm hoping it'll just come to me i studied it and looked at it forever and it just didn't jump out at me but um it's coming i can feel it it's working its way out there <laughs> so uh this is not the picture that I posted. I'm sure you guys are thinking, what did she do? <laughs> this is. And I've swapped it out because this is very busy. And what I was going to do anyways was section it. You know, like take this section here, this section here, you know, like so. But I thought it might be confusing if we have any beginners out there that aren't familiar with the way I work my way around a project. So I chose to pick a more defined um, coloring page to go with. So it's easy. Hi, guys. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Nice to see you. Thank you. Um, I chose a... a image a coloring page um, that is well defined it's better defined I guess the sections are more defined boy my articulation is terrible this evening anyway so you can see this section here I've sectioned them out <laughs> hi Karen yay glad to see you here on the chat part <laughs> um, anyways this picture right here um, I just googled Eagle Head Zentangle. And this pops up there. But if you want to find it faster, go to dreamstime.com and look up this number, 693-89046. This is for those of you that don't use Facebook and or whatnot. Um, if you're in our group on Facebook, the Creative, I'm sorry, Creative Rock Art and Foil Techniques on Facebook. Or the Foiling Rock Lady. These are provided there um, for you. You can screenshot, download, um, however you want to save this picture and print it. Know that it is copyrighted and what you do with it matters. So you need to go here and do the right thing. All right. All that out of the way. Let me look and see who's on. Hello, Lori and Jennifer. Love it. So our moderators this evening are Lori and Jennifer. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm so happy to see everyone. Let's see. We got Cat Mom and Rhonda and Bambi. And I saw Karen. Okay. Let's get to it. I'm going to start with gold. I know, right? haven't lined with gold in a while I'm going to use Mayan gold hi Thelma make sure you guys are saying hi or chatting in there so that I know you're here um, I can see a count but I can't really see who's on out there uh, unless you talk to me so and don't um, don't feel pressured to use the chat I know sometimes it's you know, kind of like stage fright. Don't don't feel like that. Not at all. We're easy going here. <laughs> also, I have some new tools, and I'm so excited about these. These are in the shop, um, but these are so much easier for burnishing the foil. And I still love my my you know go tos and the ones that are in my kit right now. I will be swapping over to this style in the kit as soon as the other ones are out. Um, not that there's anything wrong with the other ones, they're just big. So these ones we can do little areas and um, blend. These are great blending brushes and foil burnishing brushes. So that's what this is about and I'll show you guys what I mean with that tonight. And 
you know about the cutting tool that's back in stock <laughs> it took forever but this is our fix it tool so say you have a boo-boo or something you don't want there you can just easily remove it with this it's a it's a blade and it's super sharp you can remove foil um, you know glue and stuff you just get around it and pull it up and pull it off it's pretty simple pretty easy all right I'm going to use my liner brush with the Mayan gold and start lining some sections And this is the medium one of my, nope, that's the long one, sorry, <laughs> of my liner brushes. This is the unicorn horn set. So, start here with some good walls, I call it. When I'm foiling, I like to have some definition, so it helps me stay keep my foil glue from going everywhere not that it does but if I don't have a good line then when it comes time to line it out at the end and do all those details I have foil glue probably everywhere so this way I know to stay inside these lines with my glue So this will probably be a little bit longer of a tutorial. It's um, got a lot of sections, so I will go my fastest. I was thinking if it gets too long, we could kind of separate it and then turn it into a Memorial Day 4th of July thing. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe a two-parter. But I think I can get, I think I can do it. So what are you guys doing for your Memorial Day? I heard lots of camping and barbecues on Friday. You guys still out there enjoying it? Let me come down in here and see if this helps any. Hi Lonnie! Zip Nada, that's me too. I'm hanging with you guys because, you know, that's where the fun's at. <laughs> Oops. You know, this is um, a folk art treasure gold series. And I love that paint. I haven't used it in a while, but this is a new bottle. And I do love it. But I like it kind of when it gets a little older and thicker. <laughs> to me, it's like easier for me to control when it's thicker. Hey, Jamie. Hey, Deborah. <laughs> Lurk all you want. So Deborah, is there any monarch eggs out yet? Deborah raises or helps to hatch and release uh, monarch butterflies. Sorry about that. We really need a band playing in the background, you know, like a, a cover band. <laughs> Play, oh, don't you dare go off. Playing some good old fashioned, uh, I don't know, classic rock. Sounds good to me. <laughs> you 
Thanks, Connie. That is Mayan Gold. Sorry about that. That's Mayan Gold 5541 by Folk Art. Oops, sorry. And uh, YouTube doesn't really support links in chat, so um, afterwards you can head back to the group in the events part portion. And um, if you want to know about something I used, it'll be over there, as well as you can ask um, in the comments after this live, and I will help get that information to you if you're not a Facebook user. Oh, Deborah, so you're thinking you'll come back from your um, trip to a bunch of caterpillars? Uh-oh. But you can still catch those too, right? And it is quite all right if your liner is thick or not perfect because we'll be touching up later. Um, Sherry, you can actually, you have to turn on that live chat. If you want to head uh, back to the group, I'm pretty sure you're a member over there in the events. I posted a link over there to show you how to turn on the chat so you can see the comments. Some TVs you can't do it with, but if you have a smart TV or one that you can um, manipulate the settings for YouTube, then you can turn on the chat. Um, or you can turn it on your laptop or your phone and then you'll have comments. but it's definitely a setting that you have to turn on with the chat on YouTube. You can totally use pens um, to line with too. I thought about doing that, but I really do like a nice bolder line um, for foil projects. Yay! I'm so glad. Sherry, yay. Sorry if I get a little quiet. I'm used to my buddy being here talking with me. So this is the quite boring part. <laughs> Just putting the lines down. I thought about doing this in advance, but I didn't want to skip anything that somebody may not know. You know, I am... Um, I was going to do my eagle, you know, eagle colors and then do like a red, white, and blue background, but I decided to go with red, white, and blue eagle.
so I'm going to go for it. And I'm going to foil, so I may use some paint, watercolor, liquid watercolors, or I don't know. <laughs> Not sure yet. And I think I'm going to do the top part of the head, blue and white, kind of like the stars on the left side of our American flag, blue and white, and then the red stripes down in here. So kind of like a flag, I suppose, but not flag, just colors and patterns and different things. And we've got some stars, and we've got some plaid, and we've got some uh, bandana-looking foils, all in reds and blues and silvers and stars and white. I'm going to leave that in there because that's going to be gold and black, I think. Oh, actually, this will be gold. Hi Bonita, up in Canada, and um, Karen too, and Jennifer. <laughs> we Canada is in the house. <laughs> Thank you. And thanks, ladies. I know this isn't your, um, or was last weekend your Memorial Day or is yours? No, it was just recently or coming up. Hi, Phyllis. No worry. Oh, I'm so glad you found, found us. The eagle, I shrunk it down to, I believe this was 60% of the original size. Hey, Lori. Thank you. Victoria Day it was last Monday. It's Queen Victoria's birthday holiday. Oh. Hi, Joan. Nice to see you. Thank you so much, Lori. You're welcome. I sure do love the. I love doing the tutorials and hanging out with you guys so much. I'm so glad we can do it in both places again. Not that I couldn't do it, but I was having time management issues. <laughs> but I think, think I'm doing better now. I was going to line in black and then gold too, but boy, we'd be here till uh, midnight tomorrow.
So if you're just popping on, I am lining with Folk Art Mayan Gold number 5541. And that's quite a nice um, paint to do your lining with. It's pretty sturdy. I'm sorry. It's, um... <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh! So that was me. <laughs> That's too funny. Hi, Lyra. No worries. Happy you're here. You're not too late. Really just getting started. Is it? Yep. Just 15 minutes or so. And we are coming around the corner here with the lining. Get off my finger. Hello, Jen. Happy to see you. Okay, let's see, a few more feathers. Teresa, hello. I'm so glad you made it. Oops. <laughs> I'm reading and look at that. That's totally fine. We will make that work. <laughs> it doesn't have to stay in the lines, remember? This is Wanda's way. <laughs> we'll just make it bigger. <laughs> this is how I roll. Hi, Terry. No, I'm not drinking, but you know, <laughs> it is a great day for a drink. It's nice and hot outside. Oof. I would like a frou-frou drink, though, like a pina colada blended with lots of yumminess. <laughs> Hi, 
Hey, Bex. Canada in the house. Big time. <laughs> All right, I'm going to turn my fan on since we're live. Hopefully that'll hurry along this paint. Chances are, though, we'll get some foil transfer onto the paint because it's not going to have had proper time to dry. But it's totally fine because we can touch it up. But I want you guys to see how to do it the right way. I'm going to pick this up. I need about 10 seconds. Some, I can hear a big crash outside my door there. <laughs> Karen, Katie can't join me on live, but she may check in comments later on. a ghost. Must be a ghost ghost. Alright, so I'm going to be using black. I think I might just use some ink. Thanks, Bex. Thank you. Mm. Oh, yummy. Brats and burgers. That sounds wonderful. We actually kind of had ours last night. Fajitas and yummy sausage. I know, weird combo, but <laughs> it was on the grill. Just grill what you like, right? Kind of like brats, but more on the Italian side of things. This is ink that I'm using here because it dries super fast. And I want to make sure that it is dry when I want it dry. <laughs> That sound is me raking against the bottom of my wash basin, if you're wondering, here. <laughs> what was it someone said it sounded like the other day? I can't even remember. But I could under I totally understood that. <laughs> it could totally sound like that, but I don't remember what it was. Looking for a dish for some foil glue. Here we go. Spray bottle. That's right. It sounded like the er, er, er of a spray bottle. Yes, yes, it did. Mm hmm. I got this fabulous new tumbler cup that I think I'm going to have to play with, like, and make it fancy. But look at that, how big it is. And it's all matches all the brushes and stuff in the paint. Gotta love that. It will say the foiling rock lady soon, I promise. Yes, it's a disaster up here. I couldn't make up my mind. <laughs> Back to business. All right, let's check. I think we're good. All right, so let's pick some blue foils. I set up some sets um, for the 4th of July. I think they're called... Um, I think I named them 4th of July set A and B and then Independence Day trio set or five set. Um, but that's what I'm working with because that's pretty much everything red, white, and blue that I have foil wise. So I just love how solid and blue that is. So I think I'm going to start with that. Ooh, Instapot, yum. And pray that it doesn't give me trouble. <laughs> you know how metallics are. Fussy, fussy. Guess what I forgot to plug in, you guys. 
my bottle warmer. Get it going here. Okay, I'm going to get some gloves on. And we're probably going to be double foiling a lot. So, I have the Coochie brand. <laughs> Coochie Goo. Um, it comes with three. I believe it's a cup warmer. I call it a bottle warmer. Sorry. A cup. Or a bottle. I think it says both in there, but... Yeah, it gets pretty warm here. I like to use the back side, believe it or not. I don't know. My bottle just kind of sits better here. I like them because they're silicone, too. So if you get anything on it, you can just peel it off. Um, anyways, so I set my glue and anything that I need to stay warm on there. Yes, yes. Actually, it comes in a three-pack. I'm going to start putting one under my rock, too. And I was going to do that today, but you know me. No, never, never, never uh, ready when it's time to be ready. <laughs> How's that go? If you're not rolling in a hot rod, sliding sideways with a good looking person sitting next to you having the time of your life, then you ain't doing it right. <laughs> I'm going to pour some glue in here. This is a GA and EN nail foil glue. This has been my go-to for a few months now. Disposable eyeliner brush. And I'm going to start right in here. And with these full metallic foils, they get damaged extremely easy. So I'm double foiling it because there are nicks and scratches and whatnot just from me holding it while I was talking to you guys. It totally happens regardless. It just is what it is. You can't really do anything about that. They're nice and beautiful when I pull them off the roll. <laughs> but by the time you get it to your rock, it is probably scratched and damaged and crazy looking. All right, I am going to torch that with the lighter. It's like a cigar torch. And that helps to get the bubbles out and warm it just a bit. You don't want to hover there that we're not trying to cook it. Just touch it really fast to get the bubbles out. And the light. 12 LED that means there's 12 lights up here and they are LED the special ones and when you're curing this you're looking for 20 to 30 seconds um, on the glue now protect your glue over here from that light or you'll cure it too so move it out of the way you know protect I just usually put my hand between the light and the glue all right I've lost comments on my laptop so I am watching them through my video here. So if I miss yours, I do apologize. I can't watch in both places though. <laughs> right. Now, the new brushes. This is where these come into play. These can be used interchangeably for ink blending, um, gouache blending, distress inks and what nots blending or foil burnishing. So I'm going to pick the least damaged part of my blue foil and I just cut this. So the more you move it around and play with it in your hands, the more likely it is to have little scratches or dents or dings, you know. Let me show you what that what I mean. See back here you can see all these little tiny things. These foils are insanely delicate, the metallics. And my least favorite to work with, but sometimes you just have to use metallic because it's the only thing that works. I mean, what else would you put on a 
Memorial Day. You know, <laughs> you gotta do it. All right, let's see here. Ooh, looking good. So I'm burning, this is burnishing when you are rubbing on the top. And with a soft brush helps not to damage the foil, believe it or not. Um, when you use your finger, sometimes your nails get in there and it causes little scratches. So I'm pull that off. Then I'm just going to catch this corner that I missed there. And don't worry about it being on the uh, paint. Remember I told you it would probably stick to the paint because my paint's dry but still tacky. So, But isn't that beautiful? Nice transfer. Woo-woo. So we're going to add to this blue in a little bit um, something, like stars or polka dots or something. We'll add to that. I think I want to add white stars. We're going to add different things. We'll add some lace, some stars, some polka dots. We're just going to go for it. If you guys have questions, sh stick them in there in the comments and I'll try to answer plus I have Lori and Jennifer here thank you ladies so much so I'm bringing the glue to the edges trying to stay inside the gold lines and you can see that I'm not puddling it, but I am not, I'm using quite a bit of glue. I don't want to be stingy with it because believe it or not, that cushion in that mound, when you dome it just a bit, is it's a good thing on rocks. When you're doing your nails, it's not so good. I, I hear it's not the way you want to do nails. You want as thin as coat as possible, but on rocks, you want it even glossy, self-leveled, gorgeous. You want it to look just like that. See how pretty that is? Nice and clear, no bubbles. And then cure it. Oh, good question, Jan. So 6 to 12, the 6 was actually a 6 watt, which is different from 12 LED. I'm not sure of the wattage because it's battery operated, so it's actually voltage. But the 6 watt, we couldn't control the consistency of it. Um, and it could be due to electricity in your home, in my home, but surges and lights being different each time and um i don't know just different brands most of the time people were having trouble with it being too strong and they would get those really bad wrinkles or bubbles or over cure it to where no foil will stick to it so i searched high and low for something that worked more consistently and this was the last thing I tried, the flashlight, thinking, whatever, you know. I actually got it for a different reason. Um, we were looking for um, pet stains on a uh, rental carpet. And <laughs> I thought, I'm going to use that. And it worked. The six or the nine LEDs didn't cure as good. And more than 12 cures too much. So 12 is the sweet spot. And you don't have to, you know, take my word for it. You can try all the others and they may work for you. And that's super, if you find one that does, stick to it. Um, this is just what I have found is more, most consistent for me. And that's my store and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> so on this one, I'm going to grab some of this pattern here. Let's see. I'm going to go make it like kind of feathery looking going which way do I want to go oh no it's too funny okay, let me go this way it's probably not going to be perfect but 
I can do it in two pieces. So I'm just burnishing again. Grab this one, the bigger one. Get that foil in there. Oops, I missed some comments. Hi, Dini. Thank you, Lori, so much. If you're looking for links, you might have to have two windows open. Thank you, Lori, for posting those over there in the event on Facebook. Ooh, nice transfer. Sweet. Look at that. Pretty. If this happens down here, it just pulled off some extra. You can just brush that off. Brush it away. And it's okay if it is on the paint, too. You can either brush it off or touch it up when you're going back with your touch-ups. I missed a little corner here. So, oops. Cut back here. Yeah. Uh, static is a thing with foil, if you haven't learned that yet. <laughs> Ooh, I see another little spot I missed here. Got it. This is so much fun already. Oh my gosh. I love these big foil projects. That is why they call me the foiling rock lady. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Oh, 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 so pretty. All right, let's go with another solid, but different. I think I'll go with laser this time. And this is part of the rainbow set we have. It's all of the colors of the rainbow, plus a few. <laughs> and that metallic set is far more sturdy than the, the plain metallic. So if, if you want a good metallic set that can handle a little bit of handling, the laser metallics are a good place to go, kind of in the middle of the road. Not much pattern, but yet they're sturdier than these plain metallics. So I think I'm doing the blue colors. I'll be doing the blue here, here, like this right here around the face. And then down in here, not sure yet, but this down here is going to be the red and white. Come back, come back, come back. All right, this one. Burnish that. And these brushes are lovely. Perfect. And like I said, don't worry about the edges. We're going to be touching that up later and it'll be nice and tight and perfect. Alright, next one, I think, I'm going to do this one, mm, maybe not yet, let's see, yeah, I think I'll do this one, this is um, the new lace the pastel colors in the lace. This is from the bandana set, so if you're looking for that, it's part of the bandana foils. But it's also included in the set B, the 4th of July set B.
Thank you. Okay, I see something that Phyllis, it says spray. I must have missed, I must have missed the conversation. <laughs> spray, spray, spray. Yes, always spray. Oh yeah, remember guys, on your foils, there's borders. See these clear borders here? There's actually a foil there that will transfer. I don't know why they call it foil, but anyways, it's a transfer there too. So if you put that on here, and say this is in the middle or whatever, you're gonna have a clear spot. So try to remember that, and if you can't work around them, trim them off first. So that's what I'm gonna do, just so I don't accidentally get this clear border. I don't want that in there, not at all. So I'm gonna cut that off. Cut my piece here. Cut off the one on this side. Just, you know, little prep helps so much. Get that on there. Burnish, burnish. Little one. And sweet, beautiful transfer. Oh, I love these. They, they are hard to handle, as in they are full of static, and they're those ones that twist around themselves. Like, see, they go right around your finger. They're full of static, but oh, they transfer so easy. So the payoff is there. I promise the frustration is, I can't help, you know, what the um, manufacturers choose to put the foil on. Sometimes the carrier sheets are not consistent. You know, some are thin, some are thicker, but the foils are gorgeous. And I always test them to make sure they release easy. So... If you're having issues with one, let me know pretty please. We can replace it or find a different one or, you know, money back, whatever you need. Find a different glue, light, something to figure out the problem. I don't want you guys just to be frustrated and hanging, thinking, you know, that this is awful. It's really not. It should be a pretty easy process once you, you know, get the hang of it. So if your products aren't working the way you feel they're supposed to will troubleshoot it. So you can message me, PM me. Facebook Messenger is the best way to get me. Um, you can message me on one of the videos if you are just on YouTube. Or you can email me, uh, thefoilingrocklady at gmail.com. You can pretty much, the Foiling Rock Lady is everywhere. It's Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. Um, what are the other ones? <laughs> Can't even remember. Too many social media platforms. I don't know. Eeks. So we're going to go back and forth with the blues. I'm going to use this blue crushed glass blue next. Here. I'm choosing all different kinds of foils tonight so you guys can see, you know, metallics are the hard ones to work with. But if you have the right tools and the right prep, it should be easy. It shouldn't be hard and you should get a nice full transfer. That is because I didn't put glue there. That's my fault. <laughs> So let's put some glue there where I missed it. Bex, it is new. They're new in the store. I have new brushes. They are um, buff, you know, ink blenders and foil burnishing brushes. And they come in a set of three in different colors. This pink is sold out. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, there's red, yellow, blue, and green still available. 
in this. They come in a three set. And then you can get the short handle stubby ones. Um, there's four colors of this and you can get all four colors in a set or singly. Where did it go, my little one? There it is. And if you guys are wondering what we're talking about, that's the Foiling Rock Lady on Etsy. Thank you, Lori. Thank you. Also, guys, I know it sounds like I'm selling everything all the time. I just, I do have the Etsy store now, and I want you guys to know what's available. But please, please, please don't feel pressured to buy. I, that's not what this is about. I'm here spending time with you. Um, and also, with the tips, the new thing on YouTube... Um, don't feel stressed or pressured there either. I love you no matter what you do. Because that's the way I roll. It's very appreciated, but not, no pressure. Hugs to your mother. <laughs> and cure. So I'm trying to stagger it like a solid and a print, a solid and a print. Because I will be coming back and these solids are going to have, some. most of them will have like a double foil or something going on there. Aw, B&B thanks. Jamie, thank you. Thank you. I do go out of my way to find the best and keep the prices low. So, yay. Thank you for that. Look at this foil. This is so fun. <laughs> I love this. It's It was part of the an Easter set. It's still on, in the shop. I don't remember the name of it. But it's in the, um, I put this in the, the five set, 4th of July, Independence Day. Anyways, so I think I'm going to use this uh, animal print right here. Leave the background white. So it'll give us a pretty print. Oops, nice. Try again there. I think it was just a big section. Okay. And then there's static. <laughs> do you guys walk around with foil on you? I do. <laughs> nice. Pretty, pretty. Okay. All right. Back to the solid. Foil. This is a bigger section. This is why these eyeliner brushes are so cool for this. You can get into these little areas. Yeah, yeah. And if you guys 
Uh, Phyllis, do you have to spray before you add paint to the foil? Most of the time, yeah, that's a good idea. Um, if it's matte acrylic, I think that is pretty safe, you know, to go over. If it's something that you're painting over and you don't need to see through. Um, but a good spray with a, a matte spray is always a good idea. The foils uh, are very delicate. Like you can scratch the tops of this really, really easily. So if you don't seal it with something in between your layers, it can be damaged just by you moving around. So, yeah. I, I would recommend spraying it in between the layers. Now remember, when you spray, it does um, affect what you do on so if you have a lot to do like if you're going to use watercolors or you know different mediums sometimes that spray makes it waterproof and you might need to use an absorbent ground or um gesso layer of gesso so that now you can paint on it again because watercolor beads up sometimes on I try to formulate mine with enough binder, not fillers, but with binder so that it will stick to spray and you can paint on top of it without it beating up. But if it's too thin, you know, if you want a sheer color or something and you use it with a lot of water, it will beat up. So that was kind of the reason for the gouache formulas we came out with. Um, a, a thicker version so that you could use it in mixed medium mixed media let's see here And it's okay to mush them down in there. <laughs> it's totally fine. Nice transfer. If you feel like it's not laying down nice, lay it right back down. Press and then pull up. It's very good. Very nice. Ooh, this one. Yes. Look at that fun one. I always try to start in the biggest place, the biggest spot in the section I'm adding glue to, and then I pull it into the smaller areas. If you try to start in the small spots, you just have too much stuff on your brush, so it'll be it'll be too much. You won't be able to get a thin line in there. A little tip there for the day. <laughs> so I want to say a big thank you to those who have served our country and those who have lost, we've lost serving our country and those who will be lost in the future. I just want to say thank you to everybody for your service. Wives of husbands, husbands of wives, mothers, brothers, all of you go. When someone goes to war, goes away, we all go with them. It's a family thing. And then I shut up because I get teary. <laughs> I'm at that age. Everything makes me cry.
Nice. That is so cool. Hey, honey. <laughs> honey, won't you open that door? <laughs> Joan, right? All right, what do I want here? Honey. Oh, Mama. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi, Debbie. Sorry. Mama is Joan and Honey, Debbie. I will get it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put some big Texas stars in there. Right in there. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny because I know exactly what you're talking about, Bex. <laughs> what? I don't know. I have no idea what I had for breakfast. And I'm so thankful for Gady because she keeps me together. She has this awesome, like a journal that she keeps notes for me and her. But that way I am don't forget important things. I mean, who has a friend that does that for them, right? That's like the bestest friend ever. So grateful. I have the best people in my life. You guys, thank you. I just saw I missed some <laughs> spots up there with foil too. How about that? Hey, Bex. Well, I'm on YouTube, and YouTube doesn't have an option for dual streaming. So, it's one of us at a time, or we can go with, like, a secondary platform type deal. But that's very techy, and you got to have a lot of people around you doing stuff. And I'm not, I don't have that kind of money <laughs> for that kind of system. So, if we wanted to do... A double stream or triple stream or whatever it just takes a lot more programs and things and again I don't even know how to word it because I'm not techie I don't know how to say that but software yeah that <laughs> software you would think that you know they oh thank you yeah software stuff programs and software and gadgets and microphones and all kinds of stuff. Kind of like TV. <laughs> oh, that's pretty, you guys. <laughs> so, I don't like that I missed a section there. So, what I'm going to do is when I foil this when I foil this piece here, instead of having to live with that where I missed putting glue right there see that section I'm going to make my foil come up and almost meet that in this one and then I'll reline that after we're done and that will look all nicey nice <clears throat> hi ginger oh my gosh I'm so happy you're here <laughs> nice we see Ginger over on Instagram a lot. Thank you for joining. So cool. Absolutely. You need to catch us on our Facebook Lives on Wednesdays and Fridays on, in our Facebook group that Katie and I work together on those. So totally, that would be amazing. I want to put these birds in here. Would that be silly <laughs> to put birds on my eagle? 
probably right. But the roses. We can do the roses. All right. So in there, let's go with this one. Do the laser. Laser blue in this long section here. So I'm going to go this way. get some glue over in here if you have bubbles like that it's probably because your glue has you know got cold I'm just gonna add a little more glue in here we have a lot to do so lots and lots of glue also you guys don't remember your don't remember don't forget <laughs> To wear your PPE. You need a respirator, at the very least, a mask, okay? So I'm going to come up over this gold line because I'm going to be changing it. So I'm kind of eyeballing this new area that I'm going to be foiling here. Making it right there. And then this way. Oops. <laughs> okay, I didn't want it all the way out there. I'll show you guys how to fix that. Sorry about the focus going in and out like that. That's no fun. Okay, so before we cure it, I'm going to try to clean that with a micro micro uh, swab and some alcohol so I'm gonna put some alcohol in a dish here and then the micro swabs like that and then just remove it from the area I don't want it And then give that a torch there. Miss Katie, if you're on with us, thank you for posting on um, Instagram that I was going to be on here tonight. Thank you, thank you. Hi, Carol. <laughs> Yay, we found the chats. Yay, Ginger, I'm so excited. You'll love the group. Such good people. I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about all the members. <laughs> I know I'm good people, but <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm a turd. <laughs> all right, so right in. Do it this way. Get both ends of it there. <laughs> I think I missed it again. So I'm burnishing this foil with a blender brush. This is used mainly for inks and um like distress oxides inks and matte paints and gouaches and to burnish foil <laughs> and then when you lift up don't just lift up all at once you want to lift up slowly lay back down if you need to readjust yeah and then let me see. I need to put some more up there. 
go at it again. Okay. And then double check your other areas that you got good coverage. And again, don't forget, if it goes somewhere you don't want it, it's okay. You can fix that easily. Also, with the micro swabs uh, and alcohol, say you get it on a place you don't want it, even on top of another foil. If you work gently, get you a little alcohol on there. Okay, see how it's here on this gold part right there? You can remove the foil just by rubbing it with alcohol. See that foil came off there. The glue's still there, but you can actually remove the foil just by rubbing it. You want to be careful on the Santorini's because it will transfer color back to the rock. All right. So this little bit here. Start in the big part and pull the glue to the smaller sections. Hi, Katie! <laughs> Yay! Ginger's here! There's Miss Katie. And make sure when you're curing to protect your glue. You know, put put your hand or something in between your glue and the light so that you don't lose your glue. Glue's expensive. You're looking for 20 to 30 seconds cure time. Sorry if I'm repeating myself. I just for the people who come in at different times. Okay. And... I'm going to do this other um, buffalo plan. Boy, we're having some really great foil transferring tonight. So, so awesome. So, I'm going to... Where did I say I was going to stop that? Like, right here, right? Going to do these two. Oh, yeah, and then this under here is going to be right. <clears throat> Sorry, talking to myself. <laughs> remapping, remapping. Right, so that one. Change your shirt. We're cruising right along here. Yay. <clears throat> Fabulous. I'm so happy to see that. You're going to love foiling so much, Ginger. So much. It is so, so much fun. Isn't it, guys? So incredibly fun. Oh, 
Oh, that's right. That's why we changed the shirt. <laughs> yeah, I can see you'd probably need a new shirt after that. You should have seen the picture of crawfish that she, they were going in. It was the bucket. <laughs> it was huge. Like, you know, I don't know how big it was even because it was a picture, but it looked huge. Those crawfish were huge, too. I'm just being silly and having some allergies. Let's see here. Okay, I see a place I want to try. Just cut out this section because it has some flowers in it. Oh, I can't get the foil off me. And I'm going to put it in here and see if I can get a few of them to transfer up on here. Oops, let me turn this around. There we go. Not too bad, eh? Sometimes you just got to make what you want, right? Make it happen. We got this. And I think, okay, we're going to do around the eye. I wish you all the luck, Connie, but I have faith that you, you have got this. You are so going to do it. I was going to paint, but I just have so much beautiful foil that I'm going to foil. Well, I'll be painting a little bit in a minute. Or I might just foil the beak, too, with gold. Yeah, let's do that. For sure. We'll just make it a full foil. There's that one. Bye, Phyllis. I hope you feel better. Thank you for hanging out. Enjoy the rest of your Memorial Day. Thank you, Lonnie. Hello. I don't see a name. Glad you found us. All right. And that one. I'm going to do this one. And I think I want this part to go in there so I'll see if I can hopefully it went in there 
think it did. And this piece here, I'm going to put another little section of this in there. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I missed it, but I like weird. What's weird? Oh, I didn't think that did, but thank you. <laughs> I'm so happy you think it's spectacular. Thank you. Did enough there, I hope. Whoops. Oh yeah, I noticed that there's no name there. Okay, so it's Helen. Yay. Howdy, Helen. So glad you could come. Pretty, 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 pretty. So I kind of think I almost want to do this one here, blue too. Oh, I need to do this part of this one, blue, blue, and I think, no, actually this is all, I'm just, <laughs> I'm looking on an eagle <clears throat> face for separation. This, my printer's out of ink, so please don't look at the colors, but, so see that, you know, the bald eagle, um, where they're feathers would anyways so I'm thinking the rest of this one and then the rest of these are sort of the red and white business it is white under their chin right I think so under their beak under their chin do they do birds even have chins <laughs> what even is a chin So sorry about the allergies, you guys. It's terrible. I do take medicine. It just quits working in the evenings. <laughs> do birds have chins? 
<laughs> yeah, my philosophy question for the day. Oh, I have a forple chin. It's like got four rolls on it. For this side of this one, let's do bum, bum, bum. Let's just do a little more of that animal printy, printy thingy here. Oh, I so much love the smaller brushes for this. <laughs> so good. So good. Targeted areas. Nice. Perfect. Hi, Stephanie. <laughs> Hello. So glad to see you. <laughs> yeah, huh, Katie? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to double foil a few of these and then start on the red. So, we have some lovely fireworks. What well, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, 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 oh. We have stars and some lace. So, I think I want to put the stars... Up in this section here now the question is these stars or these stars <laughs> or both we can do both I think I'll save the fireworks for the red and just use stars up here what do you think two kinds of stars we think, we think, we think. I'm going to let you vote while I put down the... Which star? Those stars. Um, okay. <laughs> White stars or hollow stars? How about that? Both. Love it. Love it. Okay, yes. We'll do them all. We're going to... We're going to do a... Uh, Lori, we're going to do it like Lori, use it all, yep, 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 That's a lot of votes for the second one. I think I'll do that one. I might use the other one on one, one spot or something. <laughs> Lori, give yourself a big pat on the back. And some claps. And you too, Katie. And you too, Jen. We have the best team ever. Perfect. Yes. Oh, yeah. Did I tell you guys I bought the big one? <laughs> oh, no, that's the, fire, the fireworks. We got the huge roll of fireworks. <laughs> that roll is so big. Oh, my gosh. Did I ever show you guys a big roll of foil? 
I know you guys have seen the 100 meters, but <laughs> you've seen 500. I'll have to show you that someday. It's so big. I think I'm going to do a few here at once. Yeah, I think I can fit that in there, too. This is like an advanced move, so if you're just starting, don't, don't do this. To keep going around doing your singles. But since I'm live, I'm trying to cut some corners and save some time, but you do not need to do that if you're not um, comfortable with foiling. Okay, you want to do it. Slow and steady wins the race. takes a little bit to get, you know, confident to where placement is good on several areas at once. Thank you. Oh, I don't know about expert, but I got a lot of hours in on it. <laughs> I would say I'm still learning, definitely. Hello. Christy, hello, hello. Exactly. Very good tip. If you're going to foil many places and they're different foils, don't do them right next to each other. Skip sections. Yep. Very good advice. Okay, so I'm going to try to use some of these that are not used yet. And I think I can... Yes. Now, if you are using foil like this that's been used and you get it on a section that is glued, it will it can pull your glue and your foil and your paint right off your rock if the plastic part that has been used touches your glue because it will stick to it like super glue. It is nuts how sticky it gets. Those two, you know, together. All right, here we go with this one. Very good, you guys. Yeah, that was good. Good choice. Very good, very good. Okay, so I'm going to do this piece right here because I have a plan for some blue stuff on top of it.
Oh, thank you, Katie. <laughs> it's just seriously, you guys, lots of practice and oops, I'm curing my pot of glue. Um, you know, the right tools. You want to make sure you have warm, warm glue, warm, you know, your rock's not ice cold. The right light, just, and definitely, you know, the glue that I use is the cheapest one on the market. When I say cheap, it's not cheap. It's the least expensive. You can get two of them for like $8. And um, so it's not necessarily about how much a thing costs you. It's about how it behaves. So test it out. If you like it, if it works for you, use that. But this glue, I think, is my... I like it a lot. I think I want to put some birds in here. <laughs> I know I keep saying that, but darn it, I want to. Do I want to do that? No, no, let's do butterflies. How about that? Add a couple on there. <laughs> See if I can get the sections here. Very cool. <laughs> I like put a bird in the mouth. Yes. I'm not sure what that is on there. You guys see this right here? What is that even? Is that the... This is the jaw, right? The lower part of the beak? What's this part? What color do I do that? Alright, I need help, guys. What? What is this? What is that? I don't see that separation on the other pictures I have. I see a spot I missed. Well, the bottom of the beak is here. See this right here? Side bevel, I guess that may be, yeah. Okay, thank you. I'll use silver there, and then uh, I'll put some... I think I'm going to go gold on the beak. I keep seeing yellow beaks for eagles, so I'm going to go... When I say gold, it's yellow. Yellow gold. See the yellow gold there? Or I can paint it and use like a, my gold foil here. And put some fun stuffs in there. Zentangly. Ooh, I like that. Let's put that on there. But it won't show up on top of that, I don't think. Not not much. So I could paint it though. And it might show up. Did I cure it? I don't know. I did. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Let's see, I get to talking and can't remember what I did.
Mm, I don't think I have copper. I have tangerine. That might be better. Or we could do two-tone, like the bottom gold top tangerine. How's that? Like that? Or the other, it would be better the other way around. Yeah, the top gold bottom tangerine. Or just this color. I don't know. What y'all think? Yeah, I got you. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see here. Okay, we'll do the beak. So we decided light on top, dark on bottom, right? And silver in the strip. Is that still the go? And the nose hole will be black in a minute. Oh yeah, I think, did we say it on Friday? New things um, that I've added to the shop for ease of use, not for any other reason. You can probably find them less expensive and not have to pay any packaging or shipping elsewhere. But I do have the lights now available, the flashlight. And um, I'm contemplating carrying the glue. But... I don't know. I mean, you can just grab it on Amazon, but sometimes it's easy when you're in one place. But I shop on Amazon so much, it's ridiculous not to <laughs> just get it there. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. <laughs> I get that. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> Ammo one. Yes. That's it. My side gig. Ammo one. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> also, question for you guys. You know, there's some things at Dollar Trees that not everybody can get. And... Um, I have, like, Deborah, thank you so much. Um, I have some friends around the country who pick up, you know, coveted, highly coveted Dollar Tree things that we all can't get, like the rub-on transfers and stickers and sometimes those other brushes and the whatnots. Wait a second. I gotta, okay, we, light, dark, right? Light, <laughs> light, dark light dark anyways my point was <laughs> um what do you think about me putting some of the rub on transfers in the store for you guys dollar tree just raised their prices to a dollar 25 so obviously i have to charge for it but if you're already getting something in a rigid mailer it would make sense if you wanted to pick up some transfers but i just don't even know is is that something you guys are interested in Exactly, for my Canadian friends, 
or people who just don't have Dollar Tree. Like, I don't even know how to do it, you know? Like, I'm not positive. Because if you didn't have anything else coming, you know, then it would be like a 350 charge, not Connect Canada. You guys are completely different ballgame. But in the United States, it would be added on to that. But if you're ordering over $35, then your shipping is free. So, you know, it would be included. Oh, I love that so much. You guys are the smartest. <laughs> Wait, Stephanie, what'd you say? I just saw something from Dollar Tree. Didn't get, didn't get that. I just know that even here, I can't get some things here. And so I have friends that pick up things from other places and send it to me but what I can do is start you know getting as much as I can get you know like five or ten at a time instead of three or four if we can source things I can add a few into the store and then you guys can have it too I need to check Etsy policy and see. I'm pretty sure that's allowed though. So, uh, what's that called? Resale? Buy it somewhere. Wholesale. Resell it. I'm pretty sure that Dollar Tree is considered wholesale. <laughs> Sorry. So. All right. Dark. Nice. I sure do love these lasers. They're the laser holographics. They are so awesome to work with. Okay, and then we're still going with silver here. So, question. I have silver stars or silver laser or, you know, there's silver everything. You could do this kind of silver. No, let's just do silver laser, right? <clears throat> We could do staying alive, silver staying alive. <laughs> that would be so fun. Staying alive, staying alive. All right, so it looks like you guys are pretty um, interested in that. So I will see what I can find from around the globe. See if I can get some coordinated shipments and then um, get those out to you guys. That'd be so cool. Oop, this one's going to goop together. I could see right here. Quick, quick, quick. This is a busy bird, huh? <laughs> you 
You know, we do. We have like five between us, but dang it, they never have the good stuff. Some, every once in a while, I want to show you guys. See the, uh oh, there? That's how fast the damage happens. I just touched it while I was curing that with my hand. There's nothing on, you know, my finger, but it rubbed off the gold. So I'll probably have to redo that. So. It doesn't look bad or I can add I might add that on top of it even though it doesn't show too much maybe okay silver laser yeah I love oriental trading company I get a, a few things from them You guys are so smart. All right, I gotta add some blue. We might go through a whole bottle of glue on this project. <laughs> Maybe more than one. <laughs> I gotta redo the beak here, but I'm gonna double foil it so it won't be. Oh, I'm blinding you. <laughs> Too much bling bling. <laughs> oh. Sorry. <laughs> Staying alive was too much, right? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. All right. Do you have enough here? Give it some texture. Do love this gold set a lot. It has got some cool stuff in there. Oh, such perfect transfer. Look at that. I love that. <laughs> it's so gorgeous. Look at that. Cool business in there. Now, see the nostril? I did not put glue there, but you can take your micro swab and just rub that out of there and then dust it off with your brush. And touch it up with your liner. And if you get, you know, little bits of foil or something stuck to your rock, that's when the little blade comes in handy. And just goodbye, gone. Bye bye, see ya, gone. Are you guys still there? Said I lost connection. Oh, scared me. All right, let's start in on the red and we will rock it through this. Rocket man. Burning on the fuel. 
I don't even know what they, those words are. To, I mean, I know I sing words, but I don't think they're the right words. <laughs> you're done. <laughs> wow, you're fast. <laughs> Go. Wait, who's cat mom? Oh, I already forgot. Sorry. It's going to take me a minute. Oh, thank you for the words. I have been saying that wrong for 40 years. <laughs> 40 plus years. Rocket man. What did you say here? Hold on. I got to sing it right. Burn it out his fuse up here alone. Oh, gosh. That makes so much sense now. <laughs> wow I just don't even know Kathy hey Kathy All right, we're going to get this red going here. We're going to do the same thing like we did with the blue, kind of stagger the solids and the prints. And then we'll add some stripy stuff into this down here and see if we can get some kind of flag looking thing happening. It's <laughs> Rocket Man smoking. Oh, <laughs> uh, don't know. Fuel? <laughs> Lots of gas. Jet fuel, rocket fuel. Oh, wow, my glue kind of wrinkled there. See if you get too close right when you turn on your light, it will wrinkle. And if that happens and you're working with metallics, that will show really bad. So you can just add another layer of glue and it will see the wrinkles there in the glue. Those wrinkles right there. That will show. So I'm just going to add another layer of glue here. because I don't like wrinkles. Not at all. And start with your light away a little bit. Warm it up. I'm going to start out here with my light and then move in slowly. Love it. Approach with caution. Very much. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. I think I need Jen to narrate. <laughs> we'll mic you up and narrate it. Okay. And for the red parts, let's see. I don't have as much red stuff as I do. Uh you know, blue, so that's fun, because it's the bigger area too, and that's, I don't have as much of that. So, we'll have some white going on here too.
Yay! I'm excited to come see what you guys did. That's going to be so fun. Hi, Deborah. Um, I think for me, I've sort of settled on using a blender brush for the foils and kind of burnishing it that way. The silicone tool, you know, I use that a lot in the beginning and every once in a while I grab it still, but um, it kind of skips along the top of the foil so you can't burnish with it, you know, and can cause a little bit of damage if you're not careful so with the brush there's less damage less likely to have less damn it okay here damage is less likely to happen damage is I didn't mean that to sound like the damn it work <laughs> y'all are you feeling me here sorry wow <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, I did it again. Hi. <laughs> All right. Gotta grab a second layer here. Sorry, guys. See, try not to get in a hurry. So you want to start a little bit away, approach with caution. That light, even the flashlights can be damaging if you bring them too close too fast. And then go in slow so you don't wrinkle. <laughs> I carry them in my store. Um, the pink ones are sold out. I have red yellow green and blue and i thought i set some here to show you guys the colors but i did okay. so they come in a nice silicone pouch and this is the green color like a mint green and the red is sort of like an orange but I called it red it's definitely orange <laughs> I'll probably rename that orange I don't know why I was seeing red yesterday yellow and this blue is beautiful too I love it and I don't have tons of these yet. I wasn't sure how you guys were going to like them. So I 
I didn't buy a bunch, but I do have a bunch coming in black. The same thing in black. Nope, I already cured that. Right, red. Red, 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 red. This one. See, when wrinkles happen, that's the kind of transfer you get with your foil. So, we'll definitely double foil that baby. Put something fun on it. Cover up all those imperfections. I can't save them because I can't control what happens in the store. So if you run over and grab it, then I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't save them once they're in the stock. I don't even know who said that. I'm sorry. It went by so fast, the comment. I feel bad when I run out. I do. I have a... I get feel terrible. It's like that with the paint too. It goes in the blink of an eye. But we are working on a couple of new sets right now. It's exciting. Can we tell them? Can we tell them the theme, Katie? Thanks, Lonnie. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you're still here. Hi, Dawn. Thank you. What should I put there? Boy. Like I said, I don't have lots of red for top. We'll use some butterfly sections. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> There's no glue there. Oh my goodness. I might be showing my age. <laughs> Okay, we won't say. <laughs> I wish I could save, guys. I'm sorry, but I can't save things. It doesn't work like that. It's either in or out of stock. Sorry, I put them all in the shop. <laughs> Will the real Katie stand up? It's going to be really, really cool. That's a hint, by the way. <laughs> I'll get around you, Katie. 
<laughs> Think color theory. It is going to be very cool. <laughs> oh, yay! That's so exciting. <laughs> Well, let's initiate Dawn. First live ever. Get her, girls. <laughs> and guys. I thought I saw Matt here a little bit ago. Silver stars here. Yes. Yeah, this is coming together quite nicely. It's better than I thought. Way better. More better. Okay, here. Warm it up and pop the bubbles and come in slowly with caution. Approach with caution with the light. <laughs> I think the middle part of my rock might be colder because it seems like the more I come in this area it wants to wrinkle thank you I'm sticking with the red white and blue theme on this one putting some silver and some gold in there the gold is mainly the beak and the eye and the lining but one in there um all right I'm gonna use this one even though it's my least favorite <laughs> actually I use this one it's my least favorite but I want to get better with it so so I tackle those ones that you don't like work with them the most so that you can get past that fear of using them and these solid metallics just are my nemesis and with these they're fussy so you want to lift up lay down lift up lay down lift and lay lift and lay lift and lay <laughs> aerobics here do your foil aerobics not bad transfer it's not my favorite like I said but not too bad got some red and that's this one believe it or not that is metallic it doesn't look metallic at all but it is <laughs> okay 
oops, I missed those comments there. I'm so sorry. Let's see. Snow cone set. I don't know what we're talking about, but I want a snow cone. Oh, hey. Huh. Stephanie. <laughs> Do do be. Thank you. Let's get there. Uh, for the bird, um, no, it is. <clears throat> pardon me. Um, this one particular is at dreamsite.com. Dreams time. Dot com. I'm so sorry. Uh, number is 693-89046. Or you can have a, head over to our Facebook group, Creative Rock Art and Foil Techniques. And um, get it over there. It, uh, you can download it, print it, use it. You cannot sell it unless you go buy the rights to do that. Nisi. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. You want a pony? A pony. You're asking Nisi if she has a template? That'd be cool. What you got going, Nisi? Let's see if we can get these pretty roses in here. And right there. I don't know. I'm so confused. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. I just saw someone ask, so I was telling them where to get the train. I'm going to put a solid red here so I can double foil it with, uh, you know, like some fireworks and stripey stuff and have some fun. I may have to run out to my bigger foil section and grab some stripes. I have some fun zigzags out there that would be great for this red section. I'm confused myself. <laughs> I know, the stars came out beautiful, didn't they? I know, I know. I'm digging that a lot myself. Let me see here if I can pick this up while it's curing. So you guys can see the holographicness. Oh, it's, thank you, Dawn. You have been super, super duper supportive and shown my shop so much love. Thank you. Right, this one I want to use this guy here. Do your foil aerobics. Lift and down. Lift and down. Lift and down. <laughs> That's it. I love it. I'm going to coin it. Foil aerobics. 
And I do have some bubbly pock marks in this, but I'm not too concerned because I'm going to be double foiling. So, this is as long as it's not horrible, horrible. So see all those little pity marks? I don't like that, but it will be covered with some fireworks or something. Something, something. I'm actually going to do another silver here. I don't know what's up all of a sudden with the little bubbles. Maybe I need to check my dish and see if there's something going on there. It happens to the best of us. There is. There's bubbles in my dish. Let me show you. See all those bubbles in there? If you guys work with resins, you know all the bubbles are gone. You know that bubbles are not your friend, and this glue is a resin. I didn't even get that even close to <laughs> where I wanted it, but this foil is easy. So I was gonna put silver too. That's not the right one. It's okay. It's okay. Flame on. <laughs> Spiders. This is being temperamental. I might have to go grab another bottle of glue. I just opened this one and used half of it <clears throat> with no trouble. So you can see like right through here it started being weird. So maybe I need to put the heater under my rock. Oh, it might be the batteries except for their, it's wrinkling like it's too much, you know what I mean? I see you. Change the batteries, change the batteries, change the batteries. I did change them right before. I mean, it's very bright. But, let's see here. This one. Nice. Okay. Got a good one there. 
<laughs> you think? You think she's trying to tell me something? <laughs> I gotta go grab batteries. Okay, guys, give me, sorry, 30 seconds, 45 seconds. Almost done. You guys still there? <laughs> Coochie do. <laughs> Coochie floppy. Oh boy, the Duma floppies. Yep, got them. Okay. Batteries in. Still the same, so. All right, let's see what we got going here. We need glue. Warm my rock up a little bit. That's much better. Thank you, Miss Katie. <laughs> Katie's the bomb dot com, I'm telling you. This girl knows her stuff. Look at that. Perfection. <sighs> yes, definitely take a bow, darling. <laughs> she fixed my wagon. See, 
just got to troubleshoot. And we all have trouble with foil, trust me. It's temperamental. But the key is don't give up and don't think it's you. Foil. Foil's not easy. <laughs> Thank you, Ginger. <laughs> I, you know, Katie keeps me sane. Lori keeps me sorted. Jen keeps me on task. And just, you guys are awesome. And I, I'm sure I just give you guys gray hair. this one up here again. It's different, but use this stripey part. All that, don't worry about. We're going to be touching that up. The liner. Look at this beauty coming together. Rocking and rolling. Okay, the steps were warm the rock, warm the glue. Yeah, Katie. Very good. Cool. Yay. I'm going to put another silver one here, holographic. Actually, I'm going to put another solid red and put a silver in the other big one. I got plans. I'll show you guys in just a minute.
Sorry for the bounce. I keep touching the phone mount. <laughs> yeah, sorry guys. I don't do spins on the YouTube stuff because I can't keep track of YouTube and Facebook guests. So, to make it fair, we just don't. But you can always wander over to the Facebook group and get in on the Wednesday and Friday spin and the random sticker spin and the birthday spin and the monthly challenge so we have a lot going on in the group I don't know which one do I want this one See the bubbles there? Those are going to leave like bare spots. See it pulls the right up out of there. So you want to lay it right back down and put that back together. This is the aerobics. <laughs> up and down and up and down. Oh, I didn't even know that. Okay, then. <laughs> Foil aerobics, that's it. Be careful with your flame, you guys. It is flammable, so you don't want to keep it hovering anywhere for too long. We are almost done with the foil. Okay, butterflies, don't fail me now. Let's see. Good night, Nisi. Astalanitis. <laughs> That's too cute. <laughs> bye bye. Yeah, we're heading toward three hours here. I'm sure you guys are awesome for hanging in there with me. Thank you. This is a big project for sure.
If you need to get in those little teeny tiny places, you can get one of your micro swabs or your silicone tip tool to get around these little tiny areas. Just remember it can damage the foil. What I missed. What, oops, sorry about the bounce. Oh, donuts. So good. Oh, that, yeah, definitely. <laughs> donuts are never wrong here with me. It's always a good idea, I think. <laughs> Whoops. I just put glue everywhere. No, do not use your lighter on alcohol. You hear me? Repeat after me. No lighter on alcohol. Nice. Look at those stars. So pretty. So pretty. So close here. Oh, Jamie, I know I've had, I had a dragon do that, um, where I had to use really thick lining and it actually turned out pretty cool looking. Um, I have to send you a picture of it. Like I did not intend for it to be, but it ended up looking like a sticker. You know how they have the big thick lining around them? It, it worked out really good. <laughs> there we go. Oops.
I'm going to do a solid red here. I'm going to use the laser, red laser foil. catch in two places at once. Good night, Connie. Thank you so much for hanging out. Okay. All right. And I'll do the surprises real fast and then we will wrap it up. Uh-oh, guys, we got some bad comments in there. Jump, jump. <laughs> Lori, sorry, you guys. We just got hacked. Ugh, gross. Ignore that. <laughs> There's one, two, three, four, five. Just, uh, yeah, our comments, it happens on lives. But that's why we have moderators, so... Uh, Katie or Lori can delete those. Hold on. Let me try to get rid of them. <laughs> Here, I can do it too. Here, there's one. Two. Report. Yes. Pornography. Gosh, guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you guys. What is there, like eight? Is that all of them? Okay, I got them. I think that was all of them. So sorry. That's weird. Lori, you should be able to, but it's okay. I got them. No worries. Thank you, guys. Sorry about yuck. That nasty. Yeah, it happens on lives a lot. Like, you can't do anything about it. It's They're not necessarily hackers, but they're, um, you know, trolls. They troll through, and then they just plant it in there. And if you click on it, it will never go away. You'll have those pop-up porn pages for ever. <laughs> Don't ever click on it. I mean, unless you want that kind of thing, which is, that's cool, too, if you like that. Whatever floats your boat. I just can't handle it taking over my page. Yes, ex 
exactly. People get bored. Ugh. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are still here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think on the thing, if you hit report instead of remove, and then you report that it's pornography, which it is and was, um, they have to remove it. So then it goes away. And you guys, I think, can do that too from your end. If you want to report a comment. Oops, that wasn't long enough. It's very sticky. So if you guys as viewers see something that is nasty, don't be mean to other people on purpose, but you know what I mean. Um, if you see something. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. So I'm adding holographic and white zigzaggy stripes to give us some of the flag looking stripes. The fun looking stuff. Yes, I'm double foiling exactly. I'm going to put these fun zigzags on this one. Look at these cool bees. Coolies. Er, these. Cool. These are so nice too. They go on like a dream. Look at that. So cool. This is a fun part when you get into the little details. I love the end of projects. It's like it all comes together and you remember, oh yeah, that's what I was thinking. And even if it wasn't what you were going for, it turns into something okay, right? And you can love it. I also have polka dots and mesh. So I'm going to use polka dots in this one. And I'm going to use the peacock feathers up on these right here for the small feathers in there. Ooh, it's going to look so cool. I know I get excited. <laughs> I think I'll do the hollow mesh foil here, which is like fishnet. Actually, I'm going to do the stars on this one, and then I will do the hollow mesh right here. That's white stars here. Hopefully those show up. Oh, 
that didn't show up very well. But they're there. get this fishnet going here put some sexy on this red look at that beautiful beautiful bird Oh, thank you. Yes, please hit like. <laughs> Subscribe, too. <laughs> please. I beg you. No. <laughs> if you want to be notified when I am going live or when I put new content up, uh, definitely hit like, subscribe, and the bell. The bell tells you when I'm on. Yep, yep. <laughs> oh joy okay that one's out of here I think my glue is not right let's try this one the glue is a little wrinkled but we've still got some stuff going on there alright I want to do the feathers I'm going to get some new glue. Not new, but I'm going to pour some fresh glue. Oops. I'm going to hit a bunch of sections here at once. Okay, get the bubbles out. So I'm going to go right down this center section here and then these front two are all going to get the feathers. Feather, feather, feathers. And I want them to go down. Those 
pretty. Beautiful. Beautiful. And more beautiful. Yes, those peacock feathers are something. They're so gorgeous. Easy, easy peasy. If it's still sticky, hit it with your torch while your foil is on. I mean, your flashlight torch for my European buddies and flashlight for here. Let's see, where we go. Okay. And where'd it go? Oh. Do this one real quick, and we're almost done. Do it this direction. I don't know which ones to put in there this time. Um, ooh, let's do these. Can finish off our little details. Sorry, I just need a little black for the nostril. I forgot. Thank you. Okay. 
few little touch-ups and we will be done. And then to seal it, you would want to hit it with, hit it. <laughs> you can use top coat, UV nail polish top coat. Um, and that's my particular go-to, you know, for projects like this. It's fast, literally 30 to 60 seconds and you're sealed. Um, you can use resin, UV resin, two-part resin. You can use your favorite varnish or lacquer. I do recommend for foils, though, that you use a UV product or um, resin, two-part resin. They just need a really good, solid, protective layer. Hello guys, welcome back. I see a bunch of you jumping back on. Perfect timing. <laughs> Just wrapping up here. I am doing the touch ups. This was so much fun. I really, really enjoyed this project. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. Thank you so much. Thank you. So sweet. Thank you. Oh, this is um, Mayan Gold by Folk Art Treasure Gold Series 5541. See, I like thick liners, so <laughs> I think it looks good. Oh, sorry guys, that was blinding. <laughs> My apologies. Sometimes it takes a minute to find your lines again.
trying to keep my hand out of the way so you could see, but. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love that. Keep it up. That's such a great thing to say. I love it. Thank you. I could use that reminder every day. few more spots that need some help here you know the color that I didn't like the one that I just the red that I disliked the most is actually kind of my favorite <laughs> out of the reds now so you never can tell until you're done what's going to be your favorite part. Got a few more spots and then um, it's always nice to put the white dots in the eyes so you can give your animal life or your face it always gives it that twinkle you know the twinkle in the eye I'm getting shaky. They're not that straight, <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> no, no, not Superwoman. Just, uh, they're getting wobbly. You can see the shake in my hand a little bit. It's marathon foiling. <laughs> So these Monday night workshops are going to be sort of advanced like this, um, and they'll be, uh, I'm going to try to stick with this coloring book that I picked up. It's still at newsstands, they call it newsstands, at grocery stores, you know, when you're in the checkout line and you see those coloring books. It's called Magnificent Creatures, Volume 22, and I'll show you the cover here in just a minute so that if you see it, you can grab it because even though it's ten dollars it's so beautiful these pictures in it the coloring pages are amazing they're gorgeous you can frame them they're beautiful and they're separated they're made so that you can do that like there's one photo to a page I mean one um, coloring page oh let me show you <laughs>
So this is Magnificent Creatures by Kaleidoscope Coloring and I'm working in volume 22 and that's not really released until July 2nd so you might see it on Amazon after that or on Kaleidoscope or what's the topics media. Anyways, these there are just some really beautiful projects in here. Look at that wolf. I should have done that the other night. Gorgeous. This peacock is the one we're going to be doing probably next. Sorry. Anyways, some really pretty. Thank you, Dawn. Love that, right? Love that. Just really beautiful. That one, too. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, yes. This one, too. Look at that. Sorry. I don't want to put my <laughs> book down on the rock, but we'll go through it some more next live or so. But let's take a peek here. And I will let y'all out of here. You can grab a gel pen, dotting pen, whatever you have handy to do your dots with. This happens to be a gel pen you can get in my store if you want. And there you go. I, these are $2, I think. Yep. You can get the whole set to it. There's a gold, a silver, and a white. All right, guys. Happy Monday. Happy Memorial Day. And thank you so much for hanging out with me for three hours and 20 minutes. Hugs to you all. And thank you, thank you so much, everybody, for the tips. Thank you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Good night.